Hello everyone. In this lesson, we are going to write a numeral to show how many objects are in the group. So we are going to use what we already learned from last lesson and we are going to count. So as you can see here, there are options on how you can count. We could count by <clears throat> ones here or we can count by tens. So those are the two options that we have for this lesson. So to do that, we have to make sure that we either, we either have 10, a line of 10 socks in each or um, a whole row of 10, or we have to make, or we just count by one. So it is our option. That's, that's, that's an option. So let's look at what they have here with the stickers. So if we see that we have to count by ones, we just count one, two, three, four. That's something that everybody knows how to count. And then we wouldn't have to worry about making sure that there is a 10 in the, in the front row, the first row or the second row. No, we just count one by one and they'll be, we'll get to our answer. That's an option. Another option is by counting by tens. If we actually know, as you can see here with the stars, we know that on one row, there are 10. 10 stars. So now I, I know that I can just count by 10. So I'll do go 10, 20, 30, 40. But then I have to change my count. I cannot count by 10s anymore because there's only one more. So I just count on 40, 41. So the same thing I'm going to check if I can do with the socks. So the first thing I need to do is to make sure that I have 10 in one row. Let's see if it's true. So I'm going to do one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and yes there is ten on this row so all i need to do now is to count so i'm going to do ten and then this one is going to be twenty and the next the next row is going to be thirty forty fifty sixty then now i have to change my count because there is no whole row that is 10. I just need to go into 61 and 62. So those are the socks that I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that I have 62 socks. So we'll say 62 socks. Now let's go to the next one. I'm gonna do exactly the same thing, but I want you to pause the video and try it on your own. All right, so let's start by checking if we have 10 in one row to see if we can actually count by tens. Let's check that out, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I could keep on going 11, 12. That I could do so I could count by once. But I think we're trying to get the most efficient way. So it would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And now I'm going to do 51, 52, 53, and 54. So the total is 54 bananas. So yes, you can do it by ones, but if you want to be more efficient, you can do it by tens. Only you have to make sure that you actually have 10 in each. And the way to do that is to see if they're actually lined up. That's all. I hope the video was helpful.